This question keeps coming up quite often on the stag and it has to do with the air intake temperature control system. And this is this gizmo on the car where you have a, uh, a pipe coming out from the bottom of the air filter box, it goes around, wraps around and it connects to uh, the manifold here. Now this is a very early manifold that I have from a, a Mark 1 stag and it doesn't have that uh adapter and then there's a pipe so um but it did actually come with it uh, this was a spare manifold in uh, exhaust manifold that i had so i put it on there now people ask oh should i connect it or should i not connect it and uh you know if you want it to be look concourse you can connect it all together but if if a couple of things if you're not too bothered uh then this is what i'm going to suggest so what actually happens is let me get my screwdriver and it's all documented in the ROM. So there is a, a vacuum pipe that comes off the uh, end. If you look at the between the two carburetors, uh, just at the end of the pipe, uh, pedestal, there is a little adapter here. And on the end of that goes a rubber pipe. And then that rubber pipe goes onto the bottom of the air filter box and uh and then what it is let me i have a spare air filter box here it goes up to the bottom of this air filter box connects on one end of the here and then connects to the other end what this gizmo is i don't, don't know if i have it basically is temperature uh operated let me open this actually let me pause so it goes into uh, so turn this over it goes in one end on one pipe and one pipe goes on the other end and this is a, a temperature gizmo so what happens is as the car warms up or cools down it opens and closes and then the the other end of that uh, pipe goes to the air filter box here and this is basically like a, 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 a diaphragm in there that moves up and down now what it does is, I don't know if you can make out in here, but there is a flap inside there and it is right there, but normally what will happen is when the car is cold, the flap, the, the, there's a vacuum applied to this diaphragm and it deflects this flap inside the air filter, as you can see if I push it down. And uh, what will happen, it takes air from this point here, and this is typically warmer air that is being drawn into the engine. Now as the engine temperature warms up, this uh, flap opens and it then directs air actually uh, from uh, both the uh not is it is it blocked off no it is actually blocked off you can see that it blocks it off actually it directs air from the front of the engine and that's basically from here now most of the time what i find is this is a 50 year old vacuum um diaphragm inside there i've seen some people repair it but you know in most cases it doesn't work and so if it doesn't work, you can disconnect the pipes and inside this thing here, between the end of the pedestal, you can open it up and there's a, a spring and a very small ball bearing in there. And what you can do is, it, since it's constantly sucking air into the vacuum, you can actually rotate the orientation of the spring and the uh, ball bearing so that it is more or less permanently closed or you can take that out completely it's a it's an ntp thread uh, i think um and just plug it so one of my stags i've plugged it on this one i just took the bearing ball bearing and spring and i swapped it around so i have disconnected this uh it keeps coming up that you know pipes are just hanging around uh what should i do so i thought i'll make a, a cheap quick video another thing i want to point out on this air filter box is that there's these little things here some of them are actually welded onto the air filter box some of them are uh, plates that were put on separately and people say should i 
for the folks to, who have them separately bolted on, should I uh, remove them? Apparently, they introduced some air turbulence inside the carburetors, and that's why they were added. So, uh, the Ben, you know, some people say they don't make any difference. I don't know, but they were added by Triumph. So, um, that's that. I have found uh, some people say that there's an, uh, an MG. Uh, B uses this uh, part that you can get but as I said if, if this vacuum in this uh, uh, diaphragm in this vacuum actuator gizmo is uh, not working then there's no point going through all that hassle of adding the uh, you know the piping and the uh, pipe from here all the way to the uh, exhaust pipe. Um, I've just found a leak and it looks like it's coming from my inlet manifold because I've got a drip of water uh, on the bottom that wasn't there but haven't started the car in about a month so as usual with the stag just keep driving it anyway so that'll help you if you have questions on your uh, intake temperature control system uh, and it's on page uh, 1730 of the ROM